SwiftUI gives us two ways of creating alerts and sheets. And so far we've mostly only used one. We've given a binding to a Boolean that when it's true, shows the sheet or shows the alert. The second one allows us to attach an optional to both those things as well, the alert or sheet. And we used it briefly in our little map project to present map pins. If you remember, uh, the key is to have an optional identifiable object in your view somewhere as the condition for showing the sheet. And when that has uh, a value, the sheet is triggered. And then the, uh, the sheet modifier will actually unwrap the optional for you and hand it to your closure saying, here's your object, what do you want to do with it? So you're guaranteed it's not going to be nil. You're going to worry about optionality, it's just a real object. To demonstrate this, we could make a simple user struct. Hello. Uh, that conforms to the identifiable protocol. I could say struct user is identifiable, has an ID of Taylor Swift, like that. And now, after I give my dog a quick treat, we could make a property inside content view. Come on then, get to work. Make a property inside content view that tracks which user is selected, set to nil by default. So there's no sheet by, by, by default. We'll say at state private var selected user is an optional user equal to nil. So no sheet uh, showing by default. And now we'll say our texting here, it has uh, whatever, some padding if you want it or not. I'll do on tap gesture, say our selected user equals a new user. So it'll be Taylor Swift, for example, in this case. And then attach to that our sheet modifier here. And we're gonna use the item initializer here. So our item is bound to dollar selected user with a user coming in and then text user.id. So we're saying, I want the sheet to be shown when selected user has a value inside, or when it changes its value inside. It's optional, it's nil by default, it might be there, might not be there, but we don't care when it isn't there. Do not show the sheet when it's not there. When it is there, show the sheet and tell us its current user value as a non-optional, because it must have a value. And that's why we can say here, just use your ID as opposed to doing, you know, selected user exclamation mark ID, which would be much less pleasant. Now, with that code, as we have right now, if I just run it on uh, my uh, simulator here, you should find that whenever you press on Hello World, the sheet slides, sheets, sheet slides up showing Taylor Swift. And then we can go ahead and dismiss it, and it'll set selected user back to nil again. That's how it works. It's a simple piece of functionality, but it really matters because if you want to rewrite this code without the optional binding, we'll have to have our, our user here, we'll have to have another property to track, are we showing the user or not set to false? We'll set that to be true in a tap gesture, it's showing user is true. And then in our modifier uh, down here, we'd say bind to is presented, dollar, are you that hungry, is showing user. And then inside here, we wouldn't get an unwrap user anymore. We have to rely on our main optional property and that's where the force unwrap comes in. Selected user, force unwrap uh, ID. It's more work. It's more likely to go wrong. It's a bad idea. And so having that optional wrapping alternative is really, really nice. Alerts have similar functionality because they can also watch for an optional. I do see you dog, you're a good dog, but you can wait just a minute, okay. They can also watch uh, an optional for changes and so forth, but you do need to pass both the uh, optional value plus a Boolean at the same time. Don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> and um, otherwise, the same kind of thing. So we could say here, I want to have an alert here, not a sheet, and you get an alert with a title of let's do welcome is presented. That's where we have the Boolean. So we'll do dollar is showing user and presenting is the optional value you want to check and present. So we'll say presenting selected user. And again, the user value comes in for us to work with. So we can remove this force unwrap here and then have something inside that. So we might say, I want to have a button here with like that. And that is the optional equivalent of the sheet thing now with alerts. As you can see, it requires both the Boolean and the optional identifiable at the same time. And it will show the Taylor Swift as a button title instead, like this. Boom. With that covered, you now know practically all there is to know about sheets and alerts. 
But there is one last thing I want to kind of sneak in just to round out your knowledge so you feel good going forward as we approach the end of this course. You see, so far we've written lots and lots of alerts a bit like this. Is presented, some Boolean, nothing coming in, and then button OK. You know, traditional sort of, whoops, there's an error message, here's a message, whatever. Um, and that's great. It works. But this OK button works only because, by default, across the board, all alert buttons dismiss the alert. I press Command R. There's no action in the, in the in the button right now, but it will always just dismiss the alert. That's how it works. And we've done this so far because it gives you lots of practice in making alerts, and making alert buttons. You know how they work now. Button, some title, role destructive, role cancel, whatever, some action, and that's great. But in this particular case, a trivial alert with a simple acceptance situation, there's a neat shock I want to show you. Just remove this button and instead pass in alert. It's an empty closure like that. Nothing here at all. And when that runs, you'll see something I think is very interesting. I can press hello world. I get the same welcome and OK button. Even though I haven't actually asked for it, I still get an OK button. SwiftUI's spotting automatically. We're giving this thing no actions. So it'll do one for us. It'll say, OK, I'll give you a default action with the dismiss OK button. I'll press on this thing. It'll get rid of the alert for us with no extra work. Now, obviously, it does not work in situations where you want to have other buttons alongside OK or perhaps have a different title than OK. But for simple alerts, it's just perfect. Isn't that right, Aria? Isn't that right? Yes, it's right, isn't it? <laughs> I love you too. You're a good dog. Yeah. All right. Yeah, please.